How's it going? So in this video here, we're going to be talking a little bit about the lymphatic system and how that works and its main purpose. And so um, the main purpose of the lymphatic system is to filter through our blood or filter through um, anything that might be dangerous inside our body. Um, and so we know that the lymphatic system lacks a pump, um, but here we're going to draw it out and see what's going on. Um, so imagine if we have this artery here. Um, so this artery is carrying blood away from the heart. Um, so this artery is going to turn into a capillary here. And so if you can imagine this is a capillary with um, these endothelial layers here. And then this capillary is going to turn back into a vein. Um, so we have our capillary. We have blood inside here. And here is going to be our tissue space. Now, the lymphatic system has lymphatic capillaries that are going to be running parallel to our capillaries. So you can imagine this here is our lymphatic capillaries. Okay, so first let's talk about what's going on inside our blood. Well, we have these very important plasma proteins in our blood known as albumin. Um, and so these proteins are too big to diffuse through these endothelial cells. And so what that's going to do is it's going to create a concentration gradient. Um, and what I mean by that is there's going to be more solutes in our blood than in our tissue. And so what that, what that means is that we're going to have a net flow of H2O that's going to want to flow into the blood down its H2O concentration gradient. And this is known as osmosis. Um, and so basically, we're going to generate this pressure known as osmotic pressure. However, we're going to have another different type of pressure. Um, and this is going to be known as our hydrostatic pressure. So this hydrostatic pressure is going to want to force fluid out of our blood vasculature and into our tissue space. So basically, we're going to have these two different pressures competing with each other of whether or not um, things are going to be flowing in and out. And so if our hydrostatic pressure is greater than our osmotic, we're going to have a net flow of lymph flowing out of our blood vasculature. Now, if our osmotic is greater than our hydrostatic, we're going to have a net flow of water into our blood vasculature. And if they're even, then we're going we're gonna to have a net flow of nothing going on. Um, but for this instance, we know that the hydrostatic pressure is going to be greater than our osmotic. And so we're going to have fluid flowing out of our blood vasculature. And this is going to be known as lymph. So this lymph flows out, and what the lymph is going to do is it's going to enter into our lymphatic capillaries here. Now our lymphatic capillaries are going to take this lymph fluid, and they're going to take it to this region known as the lymph node. Um, and so let's say the, the, the lymph node, I'll just draw this continuing here, and then we're going to reach this region here known as our lymph node. And so this vessel here, this is going to be known as our afferent vessel. And that's going to be before our lymph node taking this lymph to the lymph node. And then we're going to have vessels that connect on this side. And this is going to be known as our efferent vessel. Okay, so what's going, on, what's going on inside this lymph node? That's what's important. Well, we have these different regions here known as germinal regions. Um, and the important thing of the germinal regions is they're going to contain cells of immunity. So that's going to be like our B cells, um, which we'll talk about later. Um, it's going to contain macrophages. And so these germinal regions here 
um, are going to basically act like a filter system. So we're going to filter this lymph through our lymph node. Um, and so as you can see, the lymph node is going to have a greater volume. Um, and so what is, what is that? What's the purpose of that? Well, basically, we want to slow down the fluid flowing through our lymph node so that we can filter it better. Um, and so let's say we filter through our lymph, it returns to the efferent vessels. Uh, now this efferent vessel is going to take that lymph that has already been filtered. So imagine this, like you're filtering um, water and you want to get the purified water. Now you've got your purified lymph or water um, and you're going to take this back to our vein. And so this is going to turn into something known as the subclavian vein. And that subclavian vein is going to reconnect to our vein here. And so that way, we can take the lymph that is not infected or not bad, and we can rejoin it with our blood. Um, so this is basically how the lymph node works and how we filter our blood uh, through our lymphatic capillaries.